For the past three months, we've been living with our Starlink router and power brick living on the floor because we didn't know what else to do. So that's the corner of our bed that you can see right there. And we were looking for kind of the easiest solution to get Starlink uh, or the Cat5 cable into our Airstream. So what we did is we ran it through the front compartment under the bed and then to that location there in the corner and just kind of left it on the floor. A few months ago, we saw that Smart Plug now offers a uh, an external adapter so you can have the cable television and uh, an RJ45 on the outside of the trailer instead of the two cable connections, uh, coax connections on the outside. We ordered it, ordered it, we sent it to family members that we were going to stay with and we were here this week and during our time with family we spent a little bit of time putting that in. In addition to adding that to the outside we also fished a Cat6 cable which is, it, we just used the proprietary uh, Starlink cable to get it into the uh, RV. We did not put an RJ45 on the wall. I think a lot of people have done that. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a clean install. What we did is, since it's gonna be live in our bedroom, we used the already existing hole in the wall that brings the power to the 12 volt television to feed that RJ45 or the Cat5, Cat6 connection through. If you're familiar with the layout of the 27 foot front bed queen, then you will know that on this side where that, where that lives, we have the shower and we have a closet. The inlet for the smart plug is right inside this closet. There's like a, um, there's a trim piece that kind of hides it, but it's it's right behind that trim piece. So we, we pulled out that trim piece, we ran the cable inside to the closet, down into the mechanical room, and then we fished that cable under the shower and then up the wall to that location. And now we will have the router and the power brick reside on a shelf here that we put right behind the television. So that's the shelf behind the TV. The router fits on there pretty nicely. Obviously, for when we're towing, it can't just sit up here with nothing. So we're actually going to put a command strip on this so that it stays put. And then the power brick will live right next to it here. Ultimately, now we've got this location here where everything will live and it won't be on the floor. So we know, now we've cleaned up that floor and I don't have to step around it every time I go to bed. Thanks for watching.